Hi folks, um, I'm just going to try and do a video because I thought that there might be a link between stuff that comes out of Sky, this chemtrail webby stuff I'm going to show you some pictures of, um, and basically more Gannon's disease, which you probably know, but this spider goat stuff. Now, I don't know if you've seen this stuff that comes out of the sky, but this is an interesting bit of a video that I found. Um, is it not? It's not playing at all. Now watch this bit here. This is quite mad. Anyway. Quite bizarre. It's quite mad. Anyway, so that's a close up of some of this spidery stuff. And underneath there it says Minneapolis, 27th of Chan, Riff Raff Jones has filmed this video. The object is moving about much more than the rest, single on one of them. It notices me and takes defensive action. Puffing itself up, notice later in the video the web structure's membrane, which is taking over. You'll notice what appears to be tiny creatures weaving this web from a silkworm. So that's one, right? There's quite a lot. I mean, you've probably seen all these. This is another mysterious one from the, from the sky. Let's get this one. This is a chap who's filmed it. It's this web stuff that sort of drops out of the sky. Super Delta Bravo 1 he is. But anyway, it gets a bit more strange. But what I'm wondering is, I'll show you some more pictures of that in a minute, but have you seen this here? Well, apart from the fact that I think it's linked to more, more gallons or more gelons, whatever you call it, we'll look at some of that in a minute. This is an article from The Guardian spider goats if you if you google um, spider goats synthetic biology and it says here that they've you see genetic cross breeding now it's interesting they're crossing it with spiders aren't they and goats spider goats what have they done it's something to do with spiders webs i'm sure it is i'm sure it's something they've created they go down here it says Craig Vernier announced in 2010 that he had created the world's first synthetic life form, Cynthia, aka, we're not even going to try and pronounce that, was a cell whose genetic code copied and modified from an existing bacterium had been assembled not by its parent but by a computer. Now, the thing is that they found that a spider's webs is incredibly strong. Um, you'll have to Google all that to find out more. I don't know if this is it about. But anyway, when you look at this more more Gannon's disease, it's actually quite worrying. Skin lesions, both spontaneously appearing and self-generating with intense itching, before may initially appear as something like pimple-like, crawling sensations both within and on the skin surface, bugs moving, stinging or biting intermittently. Anyway, there's all the stuff about that about this Morgellons disease, but this is quite worrying, this is quite disturbing. Moving Morgellons with amazing images. Now, it says here, don't, I'm sorry if this is offensive or upsets you, but it says, I pulled this out of my arm last night. When I looked at it this morning, I was blown away by the clarity of the people images projected into it. See if you can spot the girl standing with a limb, with her standing a, a limb, with her legs dangling, or the musician holding a guitar, for a bonus find the long-haired 60s rocker dressed for the day. And of course there is the moving fibre, you get used to them. So someone's left a comment, when I looked at this one, what? And then he said, pause the video and look at the various images in the sample. So we've got 140 and 2. And two. So let's look at 140. Okay. 
Let's have a look at this. Well, anyway, 211 is in the first round, so it's about 2 o'clock. But I did see something when I did watch it. Um, there's definitely that there, yes, you've seen that there. actually there I can see. That looks quite vivid to me. My face looking the other way. It's just interesting that he's seen this, he's seen that there. I won't necessarily see that there myself. Each person obviously sees their own things. But it's just interesting that he's even thinking he's seeing these things in it. This is some kind of life form to him. He's the chap who pulled it out of his arm. I don't know if it's recording the sound. The yeah, earphones out. I don't think there is much sound on these. Actually. There's no spiders around. No, this is not the result of spiders. So in a nutshell, people, what's been happening is spidery stuff's been falling from the sky. Um, various places. And there's evidence that they've done some sort of genetic stuff to do with goats and spiders because of the spider's webs. Created a new life form. I don't know where this spidery stuff's come from. But all I know is, is if you wake up in the morning you know, do not start picking all this stuff up because it won't do you any good at all. It's not good. Just make sure you stay well away from it, basically. Okay. Cheers then. Bye.